Good morning and thanks for joining us. The common expression man's best friend is proving to be true in more ways than one. The animal therapy program at Tallahassee Memorial Hospital provides healing services to patients in rehab centers, nursing homes, schools and victims of violent crimes, just to name a few. I spent the day with one special dog named Bogey, who is not only helping patients recover, but provides unconditional love at the same time. A car hit me close to about 50 miles an hour in the dark and it had its lights off. So they didn't even see it coming. The next thing I know, I'm waking up in the hospital. Noel Gonzalez is one of many people going through the rehab program at TMH. However, this particular program offers recovery with the help of a four-legged companion. It just allows people to relax and they can have a chance to laugh a few, for a few moments and forget about what their problems are at the time. Tallahassee Memorial Animal Therapy uses animals to calm, motivate, and engage patients. According to program coordinator Stephanie Perkins, there are a lot of things that people will do for animals that they won't do for humans. We can use um, the animals as a conduit for mobility. People with mobility issues, they can grasp a brush maybe in the hand they're having problems using or the arm they're having problems moving. And they can use that brush to brush the dog gently. You have to have a very calm dog that will sit there and be brushed. So they're getting their therapy in. They don't even know it. The TMH Animal Therapy Program visits 50 facilities in the Big Bend area. We do visit children, seniors, and adults. The children we visit, they can be child victims of violent offenses. That's at the courthouse. We do go into criminal cases as well as dependency court to support the families and children going through issues there. We visit the schools as part of the Reading Education Assistance Dogs Program, and that's where the children read to the dogs or cat. We actually have a cat participating now, which is really neat. Bogey, a Boykin Spaniel, is one of the dogs involved in the program, and two and a half years ago, she went through rehab therapy herself. Bogey and I are made for it. I'm a cancer survivor. Bogey, she had neurological issues, and she went through therapy for four months, three or four days a week. Hundreds of clinical trials show that petting an animal helps reduce stress and anxiety, helps reduce blood pressure, and can assist in pain management. Over time, they look forward to the dogs, and you can see there's like a little bond that starts, and it, it helps. Noel has had 11 surgeries so far and has one more to go. He says spending time with Bogey and the other therapy animals has helped him heal. Like as much as she probably likes the petting, I like the petter just the same. So do you think your pet might be a good fit for the program? It only takes a few steps to find out. First, we have an initial screening. We basically have an overview of the temperament of the team, animal and handler. It takes 10 minutes, really quick. Then they sign up for classes. We have a one-day workshop that's all people, all information. We just throw information at people. After that, five weeks of classes with your animal. And as for Bogey, how long will she be working with patients in the pet therapy program? As long as both of us are healthy, Bogey, we'll be here, won't we, baby? And for more information on the Tallahassee Memorial Animal Therapy Program or to find out if your pet might be a good fit for the program, you can log on to our website, which is WCTV.TV, and click on this story.